from the 25. Driscoll is in the shotgun. Gordon to his right. Five man rush. Driscoll in the pocket. Throws a ball that is caught at the 40 yard line. And that's KJ Hamler with the catch and backpedals into the Steeler bench all the way to the 42 yard line. Gain of 17. There's the first catch of his NFL career for KJ Hamler. He's had a run today of nine yards. Joined now by wide receiver KJ Hamler. KJ, how are you? Doing good. How you doing? Doing good, man. How was that first game, your debut against the Steelers? Of course, you guys would have liked to get a win there. There's no question about that. But how did you come out of that one feeling? Um, you know, just um, my first time being back on the field, you know, at the highest level possible was uh, pretty amazing. Um, I was back in PA, so, um, you know, Penn State, shout out Penn State. Um, but it was, it was, you know, it was all, it was all good, you know, um, being back there. Um, I played in Ironman Stadium before, um, so, it, you know, it really wasn't nothing new. You look pretty comfortable coming back. So uh, from injury, you look like you were you were out there doing your thing. Is it uh, you feel like you're at 100 percent ready to go? Or are you still trying to shake a few things off and shake the rust off a little bit? I don't know. I'm 100 percent ready to go. You know, I think um, I think that injury was kind of a, you know, a sign or like, you know, somewhat a blessing because, you know, it really um, allowed me to dig deep into the playbook and, um, you know, just, you know, help my mental so I can slow the game down and be, you know, fast on the field without thinking so much. So. Um, you know, I think that was a, a blessing, to be honest. So I felt 100 percent out there, though. Was it tough kind of being patient over this last month? I mean, you're finally a professional football player. You're out there at training camp, get the hamstring injured, and then you, you're not going to play the first game. Was it sort of tough being patient during that time? And did you talk to Jerry? Did you talk to any of the wide receivers in the room to kind of calm you down? Um, yeah, it was hard being patient. You know, um, I'm not a patient guy. You know, I always like to get my stuff on the move. I like to go fast. and um, you know, that was probably the hardest thing. You know, the first game, sitting on the sideline and just watching those guys play out there was, you know, um, it upset me because, you know, I thought I felt that I was ready to play that week. And, um, you know, but they just wanted to be, you know, cautious and, you know, play it smart. But, um, you know, I, I didn't really talk to any of the teammates really about it. Um, I really kept it to myself, um, you know, just dealt with it, you know, on my own. So um, it really wasn't that hard. But at the same time, you want to be out there with your teammates. You want to be out there on the field with them. Um, you know, and that, and that, and that first week of, of before the first game, um, I wasn't getting as many reps, um, even though I felt good. And I, I just knew they were just doing that for a reason. So just to, you know, be, be on the safe side. So, um, but it all came to work out. You know, I think we've all seen that clip on the internet uh, where you, you put, uh, I can't remember if it was Devontae or Duke on skates on that blaze out route. Um, how, how different and how much more fun was it for you to get out there and do it against, uh, go against another team, go against not guys that aren't your teammates? Um, you know, that's, that's the best part, um, I think, my person, you know, just um, going out there, you know, they're not wearing the same jersey as you. Um, I always say, um, I always think that practice is, you know, sometimes harder than the game sometimes. Um, um, just because, you know, everybody on the team like, really knows you, knows how you do stuff, things like that. So when you get into the game, you know, it's, you know, it's very new. You know, everything's very new. You want to get new people. Um, they don't know about you. You know, um, you, know you can you know, mix them up this way, that way, like that. So I'm um, going out there and, you know, just trying to provide for the team and be the best uh, player that I can be was, was pretty amazing. I think uh, naturally a lot of Fans of the Broncos are a little concerned about losing Cortland Sutton and what's that going to do to this offense. What would you want to say to them right now from the wide receiver's perspective on what you guys still think you can accomplish this year? Um, I think we can accomplish a lot, to be honest. You know, um, you know, Cortland was a big piece, but, you know, that's just the next man, next man up mentality everybody got to have. You know, when somebody goes down, you got to be prepared. Um, I think that we do that um, since Zoom means, you know, we've always been preparing. You know, anybody can play any position. Um, very confident in that. So, you know, um, we weren't, you know, when court went down, you know, we weren't nervous at all. You know, we still, because I think, you know, we're all in the NFL for a reason. Um, you know, we all got here, you know, for our talent, our gifts. So we're all here for a reason. So, you know, when any of us go in, you know, we, we got to put on the show at all times. You know, another component of your game is the special teams aspect. The Broncos, uh, you know, kind of looks like they solidified uh, a returner having Deontay back there last year. Of course, he's back this year. But adding you to that mix, I think, adds a, a punch of speed they haven't had in a long time since maybe Trenton Holiday was here. How do you? How much do you enjoy playing the, the special teams component of the game? Um, you know, I always enjoyed it, you know, since, since high school, you know. Um, but, you know, I'm back there all the time. I'm behind Spence. So, um, I always learn from him and, you know, what he did last year, how would you play this ball, if he's punted this certain way, 
Um, you know, always learning from them, from from him a lot. So um, he's always in my ear about stuff. So you know, he's more of like a big brother to me. Um, so just being back there is always fun, you know, and especially because you get so much room and opportunity to, you know, shake and bake somebody. So uh, that's probably the best part. You know, this season has enough challenges, but uh, now you're going to have a new quarterback out there, Jeff Driscoll. You seem like you were on the same page with him against Pittsburgh. Uh, what, what kind of changes is it for you guys on the offense to have a new quarterback back there, and especially with just, again, no preseason, really just a short amount of time in the regular season now, putting a new quarterback in? Does that, is that a challenge for you guys to get on the same page? Um, I, I, really, I really didn't think so. Um, you know, we seen what Driscoll did in camp, and you know he was he was throwing touchdowns, he was throwing bombs. You know, he's not afraid to throw the ball, um, and he's been in the league what I think six years now, so he's he's kind of a vet. So, um, you know, when Drew went down, um, and he came in, we weren't nervous at all. You know, I was personally, I knew I wasn't nervous at all because I knew what what Driscoll was capable of. Um, I knew he was a vet, so um, I knew he, I knew he would take care of business. One of the things I always ask the guys out there at the Combine, the Senior Bowl, and I didn't get a chance to ask you uh, particularly was, uh, would you rather take that pop screen and bust it 80 yards on your, on your own with a little bit of blocking, or would you rather get that bang nine, catch that fly ball, and, uh, and just boat race a, a single corner to the end zone for the touchdown? Mm. Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> it's, it's always good, you know, for both of them, but I like make people miss. So, like, I probably would say – a little screen or a little slant. You know, I always – I like to turn and nothing into something. Last one. What's it going to take to beat the Bucks? We just got to go out there and just prepare, you know, um, overly prepare. Um, you know, watch film of those guys, you know, playing against Tom Brady. You know, kind of crazy to say I'm playing against Tom Brady. Um, you know, I was watching him when I was second grade. So, <laughs> it's kind of crazy, you know, you get to say that you're playing against these guys you've always looked up to or um, – you know, I always watched on TV. Um, so, you know, we just got to overly prepare, um, you know, get in the film and, you know, see how these guys are on defense and offensively-wise. Um, and I think everything's still good.